Hello internet. Today it's a beautiful day on the lake, but we're not on the lake. We have our key, we turn it, we have a no start, no crank situation. No clicks, no nothing. So our problem is we are missing voltage. So at your ignition key here, you should have 12 volts on the red wire. We have zero volts. So that, uh, your ignition switch will lead down to this, which is your starter relay. A lot of times you see people jump these two terminals on, on the boat to get it started. So when we jump ours, nothing happens, right? So the starter relay is on the boat. It works fine. It looks just like this. So your ignition key sends a 12 volt signal right here and it tells this relay to turn on. It then sends power from one terminal to the other. If you don't have 12 volts on your input terminal, nothing's going to work. So your jump doesn't work. For us, we can actually jump 12 volts on the output terminal. That sends a signal down to our starter and then our boat will attempt to turn over, but we're not in the water right now. So uh, we just clicked it over a couple times and we know that that works. Come take a look at our starter and we'll talk more about where our source of our problem is. So down here's our starter. We have the big red wire that runs to our battery, typical, right? So this is this wire has a nice 12 volt signal on it. Uh, we have our signal starter that comes from the starter relay output and we have nothing there of course. And then we have our orange wire to the alternator. We have our red wire which runs up to our circuit breaker and we've already pressed our circuit breaker. We've already checked our lanyard, so all that's good. So now let's talk about why are we missing 12 volts? That was the big mystery to us. So once we figured out where we're missing 12 volts and we trace back through our wiring diagram, uh, we determined that our 12 volts actually comes from the other side of that starter where the red and orange wire is. And that red wire is what leads up to your circuit breaker. So it passes voltage from your starter thick red B terminal wire over to that red wire, but it flows through this, which is a 90 amp fuse. You see another guy on the internet talking about he replaces 90 amp fuse and fixes boat, but he could never show you where the 90 amp fuse was. You just had a preview of where it's at, but this is your 90 amp fuse. This will cost 30 to $50, and I don't know what caused ours to trip, but this is a problem, and we're going to change this out. So we'll change it out, and then we'll be right back, and we'll see how our no crank, no start situation goes from there. Hi, folks. We're back. We're on the lake. We actually launched our boat over here at the dock today, and we didn't fix our problem beforehand. Uh, so we came out, spend the day on the lake, fix it. We've had a great day. So we have now replaced our 90 amp fuse, which is this little guy here. Again, it hangs off the uh, starter on the B uh, terminal that goes to your battery. Uh, so we replace that. A couple things to know about this, or the most important thing is that if you have a new one, you can do an ohm check on this. It's a fuse, and you should get like a zero reading ohm. Uh, so it has connectivity from one port to the other. If you ohm check this guy, uh, we don't have any connectivity. Uh, further, uh, where it connects to the battery plug on the starter here, we got a nice 12 volts. Over here, if we checked it, we had, uh, before we replaced it, we had about 8 volts, and then it would dwindle down to 12 volts. Again, the red wire connects here, uh, not the red wire from the battery, but the red wire and the orange wire to go to the alternator. The red wire runs up to the circuit breaker, feeds back to our ignition, and also feeds back to our starter relay. So now, this is, uh, this is my spare starter relay. So now when I check the spare starter relay terminal right here, the input terminal, I have 12 volts, which should be 12 volts constant. Again, your signal comes from your ignition. My ignition now also has 12 volts, so when I signal, the voltage passes, the constant voltage here passes to the output, goes down to the starter solenoid, signals that to cut on. All right, uh, so one other interesting thing that happened when we were at the dock, uh, to get us started, I had to make a 12 volt jumper from the battery to my ignition switch, uh, red wire on the ignition switch, because I had no voltage there. So we started that up, uh, we pulled away, and uh, we were going good, and then I pulled, the, I pulled the jumper wire away, so my ignition switch lost that 12 volts, uh, I noticed, and we noticed this when, right when we had our issue, uh, the voltmeter on our dash jumps up to about 15 volts. So I thought I might have had an alternator problem, so we did a little troubleshooting. Uh, I, I popped in a spare battery because we brought it just in case. It did the same thing, uh, so it's not a bad battery. Uh, we swapped those back, and then uh, while we were on the spare battery, we did the same test, but the thing that we noticed, uh, we puttered around for a while with the jumper connected. It worked great. As soon as we pulled it off, the, alter the alternator voltage jumped up, my, my gauge dash jumped up to 15 volts, which had me worried. Uh, so what it seems to be is that when your ignition switch has that constant 12 volt source, uh, everything's fine. It, it's putting out that 13, 14 volts that you want, uh, but when it loses that, it looks like your alternator jumps up and tries to give it some additional voltage. Uh, so that's probably coming from the sender unit on the alternator. So that's just something to keep, keep aware of. Uh, luckily we don't have a bad alternator. Um, so everything's good there. So again, we've replaced the 90 amp fuse. Uh, everything's good there. The readings on the starter relay are good. The readings on the ignition are good. 
Uh, so let's crank this up and and now it works. And uh, again, if I check this terminal now, I have a nice 12.7 or higher bolts. Uh, so that tells me we're getting good pass through. Again, that voltage runs to the starter relay, runs to my ignition switch, and now I can start my car, I can or start my boat, use my accessories, uh, and all that good stuff. So, so we're out on the lake, we're all fixed. I uh, hope you guys found this informative. Uh, don't bother subscribing, I hope you like my video. Leave some comments, I'll help answer any questions that you have. Thanks, have a good one.